and give away your ignorance. That stim beacon is fantastic when you play with an Odin. It's trash. Get those wall bangs in and you can destroy absolutely It's as good everybody. as this crosshair. <laughs> I like this attacker Viper wall here. It's going to allow them to just rush in and claim Lamb's control. And it looks like it's expected here from Angel. Actually going to be doing double damage. But Bram still is able, or is able to get the kill. Taken down right afterwards. Putting FBX at a man disadvantage. Shadow is going to try to bridge that gap. The wolf goes out and it's taken down and returned on. A nice little bit of trade of utility that really does nothing. But with Zipan down, they're free to just rotate to the B site. This will be a plant coming in for Team Vitality. Flash is back into play, already pushing forward. The Dink hit as well, and he's got Shao alongside him. And I know Shao's return to form has been something to enjoy over the last couple of days, but Sender is another one. Highlighted on the desk as someone to watch. From Omen there, I don't know if that was intentional. Because he's got the spike and he's, he's coming back. back. So that could have been a bit of a disaster there for Sender. But luckily, he's been sent back with the team to now make that push out. It's the re return to Sender. That's what they say. He's come back. He's back with the pack. His team ready and waiting. And they've already managed to trade. Now, these sort of rounds, even some damage, could be very valuable. And actually, Zipan... Well, he's, he's on his new trusty agent. There's no blast packs to get him out of this corner, so he's already going to go down. The battle of the ugly crosshairs is being competed for by Shadow, and he's not going to get anything for it. His opposition in the form of Brams is going to be sat in the corner, and this round was one that we expected to go the way of FPX based on what was invested, but the risks they've taken, the peaks they've gone for, have only been caught by Vitality. Spike planted. Now things become a little bit awkward. If FPX don't manage to get on the board here, they'll be massively behind, but a big clutch needed in Dinosic. He remaining. is caught unaware. Loki and Brams both swinging on him, and the same thing happens there. Now, this is as bad as it can ever get. And then, what he's used. We've got Zipan with a brick and Shadow with a square. What is this? And it's working. That's, that's what annoys me. <laughs> Maybe we've just been doing it wrong the whole time. Or maybe he plays some weird res. Shao, again, is going to be able to pick off one. This should be around going their way, but it's looking pretty damn good. It's left on to Brams. Sat on that cypher. Six bullets in the clip, and they're looking to try and peek him together. It's FPX coming back after what was a bit of a... 30 seconds left. been spotted, but this spike is slowly shifting up towards the B site, and Shao took a pretty tough battle at this point. I mean, he is one hit easily, and Brams takes him down right off the bat. That's the spike planted as soon as the orbital strike disappears. And this should be right. a comfortable spot for Vitality, especially with Brams going out and dominating like that. A brave attempt by Angel to stop the plant and win off the time. But in the end, that's going to pretty much cost them the round. Well, the ready to push forward, but look at Angel up behind. That quick double, the flank is completed and vitality's pressure now it goes all the way up a shock dart even left. participating in a kill leaving Whoa. back low hp as the last Spike player alive and although he gets the first he's got three more to go and this one doesn't really feel too <laughs> look at that they all swing him in unison putting forward it can go back but this showstopper is going to be popped which means it's full commitment and dimma six positions being given away he is a goner with back looking to send that rocket all the way into spawn unsuccessfully oh shadow I, I think i just saw that on the map he turned around just as a player pushed on long he still had that control at least for a little bit of time but it couldn't be much worse however the trades are coming in thick and fast Shao desperately low though he actually hits the dink low key Left, well, low on HP. The problem is, not as low as Shao. I thought that snake bite was even going to yeah, hit him. So oh, I. he's dead! No! Shao! Get something done. Paranoia going to be popped out. Dimisic on backside here has a nice little lineup. There's two from right away and going out for... Whoop! He ended up flicking on the angel! Got distracted by his own teammate and sender. No way he snuck up here. What? what? Angel heard that shadow step. I don't know how they didn't realize he could be up. Uh, oh. That was a really nice entry from Sender as well. Demon Sick is going to be left all on his own. And they're just lurking through their utility and finding picks off the back of it. A fake turned into a beautiful execution. And sure, they've taken down Jesmond on the other side of the map. But realistically, an afterplant, a 4v3... Uh, th this is looking like another Vitality round, unless somebody pulls something out the Hold bag down. for FPX. There's the ult up, but they can easily escape. That pushes them into the open for Zipman to take some duels. 
And I'll look for a little bit more. Well, I mean, it's something. It's a leg back in, foot in the door. Let's send her up on top once that smoke fades. Oh, he's even got the spam, and with the silencer, they're not entirely sure where he is. Brams sideswipes them completely. And it's seven on the board for Vitality, man. What a dumb mind. It could very much still be there. And every duel going FPX's way, they've got the two-man advantage. Well, we've seen the Seekers pop. A heavy investment for a 3v5 scenario, but it's a scenario worth taking, considering it is that last round of the half. The push through over the top, the Hunter's free from Xiao to help out, and Demasic landing those bullets. Loki has been able to find one. But this scenario looks impossible. He needs his headshot onto Angel, and he's just not going to get it. A resurgence from FPX at least. And there are, there are four on this side. I feel their energy, their aura. There's four. <laughs> <laughs> Deep flash here. It's going to blind up Dim, and he's stuck in the corner. Low HP, Shadow good for one, but then Dimma falls. Access into this site is completely blocked off. And for Vitality, they've got the man advantage rotated in. They've got to stack up, but low HP on Sender and Loki. This could be a problem if Jasmine wasn't tapping heads. And Loki in for more. Closes it cleanly. The rounds with them. Close to that. Rams. With the first and taken down right away. The reveal comes in. And the Sheriff's shot is clean. Vac about to be challenged by Angel. Okay. And dropped by the Sheriff once more. FPX have a plant and a man advantage off of pistols. And Vitality now have a very tough retake on their hands. They have a paranoia and one sky flash, and that's pretty much it. Uh, this might be the lifeline that they needed. Can they bring it home? Loki already looking to try and set up into the side zip and he's making the brick work. Cause he does have a zip and round. I'll take it back. I'll hold my hands up. He might be able to do it on the brimstone as well as three kills off the back of the sheriff. Flash down on mid straight away will blind up one and only the one kill to be found. And when you have specters like this, you'll take one for one trades all day long. Well, yeah, it's extra weapons to be found. Sender, he's trying to make a bit of a play into middle. Well, Loki still wants to try and challenge here. He's, oh, it's got to be careful. Xiao's on the other side. And as I said, he's been on a run of form. Shadow's actually going to win another with the Spectre. This is just... All right, for the time being, and he's spotted up yet again. This guy has been revealed for about Shadow. six minutes now. I don't know how he's able to get anything done, but Jasmine at least trades out. This is doable now. Somehow this has become a possibility. We've had Shadow with three kills starting off with a Spectre. But can the rest of the team take it through? A Viper's Pit actually expended the extra couple of kills making a difference. But so is Demasic. That late lurk so powerful. But now Jitman has a triple of his own. It's left all on to Shao. But his position is unknown. He's waiting just back in this corner. Not expecting his opponent. And wow, this is going to be an easy kill for him in the end. Isolated by the Orbital Strike. So there could be no one within this at all and shadow's actually going to go pushing him first but he doesn't have the normal plant spot i think he would have liked yeah they're going to use an orb instead to get that plant down the or putting the orb down now means that they can actually leave this ultimate and in fact they'll need to because down on the site was a snake bite and fpx they answer back so quickly he takes the kill and now a five versus four fpx they lose their leader but they almost get more dangerous than dimasic He's so ready. The Battle of the Cyphers goes his way and the B control is entirely theirs. Of course, they don't have that information, but those Seekers might just give it away. All tending towards this side of the map and a big lurk here by Zipan, but now his position given away in an awkward spray. That's the man advantage in their favor. And Vitality can't get back on this side. In fact, one of the players that's coming in as an operator, so you're in this spot where... How's Je Why is Jasmine? He's stuck on. He's in. They have absolutely no idea. Well, he should at least get one for free. Oh, this is the trigger control. He knows how important it is to find more than one, but the fact is there wasn't anyone offering themselves up to him. Xiao is so quick to trade. You are, because Angel's just running in. He's actually inside of it. Or he was, for a moment, stepped out. 15 seconds left. They've got to make a move forward. They've got to stop that spike from being planted over on the Vitality side. And Angel's flank. Well, it is completely cut off Jasmine, who gets shut down. Now, running through Viper's ultimate with very little HP. Brams just gets completely surprised by an appearing... Maybe this is why FPX felt so confident going into this map. They've just got a ridiculous... That there's three players uh -oh. pushing down middle. Dimasic spots them, gets the info, but it might be too late. 
Kills starting to go their way. Vitality with the information. It all comes down to Jesmond. He has to have a big oh, hold, no. and he can't. Now the plant is in. The orbital strike is online, and Vitality are facing defeat Stop here planting. on Bind, despite a 9-4 to four lead. I, I'm genuinely just in shock. I don't know how this has managed to happen. They don't even have much for the retake. The best piece of utility they have, maybe the cam, maybe that paranoia that's just gone and missed. <laughs> that shot was actually really close to landing. Almost a, a little bit of luck going a long way. But here is that orbital strike being set up. No matter what they do here, this is going to be a rough scenario. But actually, Xiao's gone down. Maybe there's a chance. Angel, he's trying to deny them a little longer. Senders found one more, but we know the last man standing. He's kind of walked down to the open, and they are going to get the kill. Is there going to be enough time? That's the real question. I think so. Yeah, that seems like they've got it, right? 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 Ooh. Right? Oh, point I saw him miss a couple of these orbs last time that I was casting him on Icebox and leave a massive gap and end up dying. But look at that. Oh, it's, it's smack bang where it should be. He's figured it out. He's had a long time to practice, you know. That's true. <laughs> it's been a few months since we last got to see him throw that. So you don't beat have it down. It might not necessarily matter though. Back. Okay. Uh, that, that's a pretty decent start from him. He's coming with the ghost. He's got three kills. He's got Loki alongside him as well. And see. And right away, you're going to see that Viper setup used to try and deny any pipes control. But actually, in the gap of the toxin clouds going up, Zipan has managed to sneak by and catch Jesmond off guard, leaving Brams oh, undetected dear. in the corner. But he's full blind. He can't see a thing. And that stops what could have been a huge play from coming through. Yeah, again, now the, the sort of table turns as this is the the chance for the damage to be done on the other side of things like this is the full buy coming in for one team and they still have the opportunity to purchase into the next center could also farm up some extra orbs which is going to be wonderful for him beautiful movement to get up there as well nice and clean it's war i'm not sure if that's going to be able to do too much though in the post now randomly and i'm going to have to wear it but it is what it is now uh, for vital <laughs> That was nice. That was nasty. And see, if they were synchronized up in some ballet classes, they wouldn't have peaked like that. They would have been a little bit offset. But anyways, it's a two versus three in FPX. They've got control of the B site, but look, they're going to get spammed. Angel's dead, right? 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 No. No wall bank. No wall bank comes through. He's able to get away. And left on 30 HP, he can play some post-plant lineups. This could get pretty dangerous. Where is Angel going? Either this is the longest lineup of all time, or he's going on a flank. Now, this is a bold play. I think it might be a little bit much, but actually, they're not defusing anymore. Oh, that's a shame. I, I think he just expected them to be defusing already, which is a, a fair assumption. I like the idea. If he even just has the stones to hold that a few seconds longer, I, I reckon he, he is. They've naded him. He's hit by the Seeker, and he's dead. Taken out by that. There was nothing he could do. Swing wide and get killed, or stand there and get killed. No choice. Shout. Rocket in hand. Doesn't look like... Oh, baby, he will find a victim because Brahms runs out at the wrong moment, peeks into heavy traffic, and Vitality, they are behind by quite a bit on this one. A hero needed, and there's none to be found. Yeah, I, I do actually like his wall. Suddenly, they're caught between... They're sandwiched completely, so they had to deal with him, which bought them all the time in the world. All right, Shao. Uh, as said, excited to see him play a little bit more aggressively on this Bomb agent, but even with the cheeky boost that Sender's attempting, and with the success he's had in some of the rounds, it's not gone great in this one. The entries onto A have looked all too easy. It's worth noting as well that they actually invested a Viper's Pit in the last round to lock down this site on what looked like an initial A take, with basically everybody being dropped on that side, again turns into the same B spot. Now, they haven't got anything to actually block the vision here, but with Vac only on a Marshall, I wouldn't expect too much from him, especially with the Lurks coming in behind anyway. Oh! Hello, Loki. That's a nice little one-tap from him. Go out for more. Oh, it's the shoulder this time around. A damn nice shot on the first one, huh? That would be the ideal scenario for them. But with that said... Vitality have picked up the opening. They've shut down Zip and this full buy is off to a good start. Yeah, there's only so many times that you're going to give Vac an opportunity and he's not going to hit the shot. Like, it is not something that happens too often. Now, this time, Angel's actually using their own wall against them. Like, he's gaining so much ground, but Jesmond was aware. 
He knew he'd given up the space and doesn't fall for the tricks of the in-game leader. It leaves a three versus five, an unlikely scenario, but there is still time for some sort of play to be made. Now, this is still being sold by Dima Sick. The problem is the remaining two players don't have the spike. So even if they do get the kills, which, hey, they managed to get I've one, they have to still run back. They're even going to invest Seekers into this one, Mitch. Yeah, that Seeker actually got shot by back just before he dashes back. It's a small thing, but it allows him to post up straight away and look to catch these players moving on the site. Even despite that, Shadow has managed to make it down below. Shock darted up. And dodges actually ends up with a kill and the cult with the flash in hand but xiao is quick to trade by taking jasmine down and now they have the spike things are looking much much better but that comes in to put a spanner in the works no plant possible until he's dealt with and there's no way to take him down oh look one playing into b oh my the God. other going forward they got themselves the showstopper as I well as dima exactly sick now where. finds his second while hiding back through mid now the showstopper will do nothing in terms of kills but where are cinder and brams just come from they've locked down this site but on the other yeah, side of the map they could still run the gauntlet all the way into b because dima sick just on his mid play has managed to kill off the remainder of the players this is insane dima six lurking through middle in particular is off the charts right now <laughs> he's even won that fight on to middle He's got a 4K, Tom. They've invested the res over on the Vitality side. Nobody but Dimasic has got a kill, and they're still in an even situation. In fact, if anything, they're behind because they're now in a two versus two, and Dimasic is looking hot with this phantom in hand. They've tapped the defuse. There's a flash ready. Dimasic's going for the peak. Vac trying to hold for the push out from long. But look. Even inside that smoke, there's no escaping him. He's got the silencer, and Sender is now 10 HP. He needs two quick headshots to close this one out, and it's just not gonna happen. No, FPX, no, no, no. F Respecting this Viper's pit whatsoever. I think they've started to realize as well that Jesmond is just left so often as a solo hold, and they're definitely gonna do it in this round, right? Then there's also Angel left behind and this time he's got a friend the push comes through but Dima Sick is happy to just take that freebie and with only two players remaining the site firmly under their control that solo b-hold just has not been working out no it, it's a clear weakness and FBX uh, they've sniffed that out Angel's dead but Xiao is instead going for the Angel play looks like that lurk isn't even necessary now they'll group up and just take Loki down seven to five they close it out and that was an absolutely that's not a great dash by vac his teammates unfortunately block him and now as they come through the smoke Ooh. hello he was midair midair right clicks from that range nerf the classic maybe shadow's able to grab the first here's the flash right on through but he's not going to catch them they've already fallen back now the retake will be tough for fpx that's an early dog I do still see Xiao with his nade, though. I feel like in pistol rounds especially, that could do so much damage on some of the remaining players already. Shadow just wrapping around, using his cube to find a couple, and Xiao already dropping one more. It's left to Sender. His heal a long way away, but he has retrieved the ghost, but they're going to try and bait him into the peak. Already the defusal halfway, and he has to go for the swing here, and Demisic has got his buddies back. Well, the Zipan did let go. In terms of the read in this round, it does seem like they've got this one spot and then there's no way he should be surviving that. <laughs> this is actually an investment as well. There's been some money put into this round by Vitality. So they need to be getting a lot more than what we've just seen. Normally we talk about these eco rounds as all right, new little bit, and with 14 seconds left on the clock, they really do have to get a move on the full force of FPX already and waiting. The wall will grant them at least a second, but they've broken straight through it, and they've still got to get this plan. This is a real problem. Just seconds left to spare, and they will get it down. But do they expect Xiao in this corner? The answer, no. Welcome to my world. Old's going to be committed here as well. Viper's pit extends onto the side in which Xiao on 20 HP. The pit makes very little difference. You're one hit no matter what. So he can at least feel free to fight inside of it. And I can almost feel him dropping down. Oh, in fact, he's going to reposition entirely. Moving out to check the back. No one's here. <laughs> back along the rope he goes. It always looks so funny when they're on those ropes. But unfortunately, well, you know, I was going to say his chances are pretty low. And, well, Loki makes sure of that. Another round for Vitality. They start to edge. In fact, his teammates are so confident, he's now the solo aid defender. 
Angel's gone all the way up here oh, and backline them both up a wall bang kill to Angel through his teammate of Xiao. That is ridiculous. One burst, two kills, and Zipan falls on the ropes. FBX, they had money in this round, but now they don't have players. Last player standing. Oh dear, oh dear. It's left all on to Demasic. He's been old and ace, but this would be a ridiculous time to get it. Are they actually off, oh, but they've got Demasic to deal with. He's going to peek actually off the back and try and slow them down with the cage, but they're going straight through it. It leaves Angel at the back of the site. I believed he's retrieved that operator that we saw previously in a round. Not a weapon he's renowned for, but I wouldn't doubt his ability with it. The thing is, though, they're just going to avoid it completely. And in fact, back swings into the angle and doesn't give him a chance. The remaining two, again, might just be in a position to save. And in fact, they're going to go peeking. And Vac is winning every battle that he's faced. In fact, it's a flawless. Leaving just one man. And they've, they're walking under Zipan. They're all underneath. What is it? How has this happened? He doesn't even die. What? I need a replay of everything. That oh. At this stage, things are going relatively bad. There's the showstopper pop, but Vac, he's popping off. Evened up now in this situation, but an ult is going to bring up Brams. On the backside, Shadow is isolated. He can't really do a whole bunch. His teammates come in to help. Wolf goes out, Tiger, Dog, whatever you want to call it. But it ain't getting much done. Vitality of the man advantage. All they need to do is trade, and you can see every single fight going their way. Angel coming up behind is being watched. The wall is protecting the planter, so they don't even need to work. position from Zipan. It makes that first shot so easy and then the peek out from Angel not necessarily expected. 35 seconds left as Jesmond has a bit Last of a play to make standing. but it's all falling apart from left. what was a, an easy looking A take comes down to just one man and Zipan Ender watches the back. Oh! That could have been very dangerous indeed. We're going to see the ult popped and a clear passage into upper. The nade comes through. They wait for it. This is perfect from Vitality. Numbers get evened up with Sender again caught on that backside. But look at this very late lurk by Loki. He's coming up, but he might not be quick enough to catch these players before they've already pushed back into the site. Oh. The eyes are down. Oh, Brams is already going to catch one as there's an attempted lurk through. Loki does eventually pick off Zipan and well this is looking like we might be heading to an overtime but Xiao has other things to say about it. Nade back. A pick at least grants him something. <gasps> Great nade. But they need to get themselves onto that spike and relatively soon the nade will force off one. Loki still hiding in the back lines. The peak out Xiao he's found another and actually Loki he's got himself that hunter's through. He's gonna tank it to try and get it half but he cannot avoid the second. It will that is the most angel round ever, though. It, it's just like, oh, we need a round, guys. Okay, if you guys all just wait, I'm just going to solo push into two players, headshot both of them, take complete control of a site. But I don't want you to move. I want you to then kill the other players. Like, how can we take? They've got the cam set up as well that will give Demasic that extra information. And there it is. I assume now we're going to see a rotation to at least place an extra player on B. Angel's caught on the cross. That's mid open and now a completely isolated Dimasic. The team's going to take quite a bit to rotate over. He'll try to avoid this drone, but there it is. It's up high and it spotted him right away. The wall down. They can spam and try to break it, but that spike is getting planted regardless of what they do. And now FPX are on the back foot playing into the retake. Not quite the tragedy that it was for Vitality with only one man behind. But a very difficult one to make work, especially with their Viper gone and the wall was already placed. Anyways, flash for backside, or back yellow is actually going to... Oh, what? what? Back is down and out. Cloudburst for right. Xiao is oh. getting a double and the spike is being defused. It's done.